Well, hi again, you guys. We're gonna. Uh, this is another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. Let's get that out of the way. And uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, we're gonna play a song here by uh, Judy Collins uh, from Judith. But like we do, we're gonna go through the other records I have in my collection by Judy Collins. What do we know about Judy Collins? Well, I know she has a a book out. I think it's her memoir autobiography. And later this month, I was getting all ready to see her at a book signing luncheon, and it got canceled, so I wonder what happened there. But I was going to smuggle in some of my records, like I do, and see if maybe afterwards I'd stand in line and maybe she'd sign some of these. So, she is also the Judy and Sweet Judy Blue Eyes. You can read all about that in the uh, Graham Nash uh, autobiography. And uh, so before we talk about the song we're going to play from this record, let's go through these other records. So she was signed originally by Jack Holzman to the Elektra label. And that's a really cool label, you guys. If you guys are really into your, your vinyl records, this, uh, this Elektra um, label was, is, is a, little, a little bit more advanced even than what Ahmet Erdogan was doing over at Atlantic. Uh, they really signed some uh, rising stars, Paul Butterfield, uh, Judy Collins, many others, and really was an artist's label from what I've read. So um, this is one of her first ones, if not her first in my life, Judy Collins. Wow. Produced by Mark Abramson. Production supervisor, there he is, Jack Holzman. And uh, back cover photo, Joel Brodsky. So I'm reading all about these guys in the Jack Holzman book. This one is uh, Judy Collins, number three, with that original or one of the first versions of the Electro logo. Look at that, boy, beautiful. It, it, the cover and, and her, of course. Um, it's got the plasticine still on it, so I'll tilt it. And hopefully we don't get any glare. And uh, made in New York. Uh, arrangements by Jim McGuinn, who I think later became Roger McGuinn of the Birds. I think that's a fair bet. This is Judy Collins. Not sure which one this is. This has a song for David that Joan Baez wrote. Look at that. Uh, it's embossed here, you can't see it. But her name is right here. When you tilt it, you might be able to catch it. Here's her double live album. Of course, wait, no, it's a single live. This is her live entry um, into that. Beautiful. What's on here? Joan of Arc. Others, other things. And it goes that way. And then this is Wildflowers. You probably have this. Arranged and conducted by Joshua Rifkin. Again, on the Electra label. Look at her. Wow. Something else. The whole package, the looks, the voice. So we're going to play a song um, from Judith. And what does she do on here? She covers a Rolling Stone song. So that's the one I decided we're going to play. Salt of the Earth. And some really great people play on here. Steve Gadd, drumming. Um, Eric Weisberg. Tony Levin uh, of the great Peter Gabriel and King Crimson. Um, so let's get this going.
It takes some guts to cover a Rolling Stones song, but uh, her band and her voice, uh, Steve Gadd and then the rest, they can handle it. I think that was awesome. So here's Judy Collins from Judith covering Salt of the Earth. Uh, um, not even sure what album that's on from the Stones, but that's a really cool thing. She also covers City of New Orleans, Steve Goodman's song that everybody seems to have done. Send in the Clowns, Stephen Sondheim. Um, Jimmy Webb, his book is coming out. I'm going to read that as soon as I can get my hands on it. Wow. So many great people play on this. Um, so uh, this was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. And we talked about uh, Judy Collins and played that nice song that she just did. So this is how it works. We uh, cover, uh, we talk about some of the records that I have in that, uh, by that artist, and then we play the song. I'm not an expert here. That's not the point. The point is the vinyl format that we love and enjoy so much. And it's a celebration of that. And uh, uh, as my good friend Radio Dave said, what I, what I lack for in accuracy, I make up for in passion. And I think that's really me all over in life as, and, and, and here in the record room. So um, that's the setup, that's the format, that's how it works. Welcome in, welcome back. You know the drill. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. This was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. See you guys back here again soon.